G'day everyone and welcome to my Chapter 16 Gunstar video blog titled The Aliens Take Flight. Last chapter I mentioned that I put the support in for the NTSC composite pallets. So what I did is I put a prompt just before the game starts asking you for RGB or composite. I've removed that and instead I've put the, uh, it, it boots in RGB mode and by pressing the F1 key it will toggle between composite and RGB color sets. So now people with composite screens will see fairly accurate colours on their monitors. Okay, and next I'll show you the level map editor that I wrote in uh, BASIC running on a Coco 3. Um, the main thing I've added to the map editor is the um, ability to actually tell the program when to launch an alien, which alien, and what flight path it should take. And they're symbolized by the red dots that you see on the, on the screen. At that point of, this, of the map, when it displays that map, it'll launch a certain alien with a certain flight path. And now we finally get to the aliens in flight. So here you can see a few of the aliens just buzzing around. There's no collisions or anything, so nothing can kill me. Um, the program is um, coded to handle up to 10 of them, although I've had 20 sprites moving around, all properly uh, superimposed over the background, animated. So it's working quite well. Um, Soon, what I'll do is I'll just launch uh, all 10 and you can see that the screen fills with aliens and probably at that point the game, if they were shooting as well uh, at me, um, it would be quite a hard game with so many aliens congesting the screen that way. But um, I was just testing it to see what it could handle. So they should be coming out any second now. There we go. There's a whole lot of aliens, there's about 10 sprites um, buzzing around and they eventually fly off the screen. Currently in this demo you'll only see three of the uh, uh, aliens that I've programmed in there. Uh, the other two which will appear in the later levels, I'll leave those as a, a secret for people who buy the game and they can explore or discover those for themselves and what they do. Um, that's about all for this uh, segment. So next is to define a few more of the alien flight paths and add the aliens firing and add collision detection. So it starts becoming a, a more challenging uh, game. So till next time, 